like this. I know, I love Fridays. <laughs> Casual clothes, huh? rock music. Rock. Exactly. <laughs> Nothing like a little flirting with disaster. Oh, I love it. <laughs> All right. Did everybody get on here this morning? Tim, we have so much to talk about today. We have a ton of stuff to talk about. A lot. It, we really do. And and uh, it's a lot of good stuff. I mean, there is a lot of exciting stuff happening at the Lloyd's Garage. That, I isn't know. It, isn't it crazy? <laughs> so, uh, uh, how, how do we start this? How do we start this? <laughs> exactly. So. Um, Challenger. Challenger. Do we start with, uh, let's start with the Challenger cam information. You want to start with yeah, that? Yeah, absolutely. So, you guys know. Lloyd's cams are being released very soon. I'm going to be called. I already have a waiting list going. So if you want to email me at Amanda at Indian Motorcycle Charlotte dot com, I'm starting that list. And then next week, I'm going to call everybody and start scheduling. I'm going to start out the f- like around January and then we'll kind of see where we're going with them. But it's very soon. Very soon. Y'all have soon. seen the dinos. You've seen everything. So you're ready to get on our schedule. They are only going to be available in Charlotte initially. And the reason for that, I know there's a lot of people. Well, you know, question us on why we're doing that. But uh, the biggest reason is is, is the tune. It goes mm-hmm. back to the tune because – so what we want to do is we want to do – we're going to be starting with about 20 bikes. It's sort of a first wave. Um, as you guys know, it is a long process to change these cams out. So it, it will take about a day and a half, mm-hmm. you know, initially uh, to do this, uh, at least a full day if not a day and a half. So we're going to be able to do about one set every other day initially. At first, until At we first, get faster. Until yeah. We get, yeah, it's a training process, and we're going to be developing. You know, the neat thing about Lloyd is, uh, you know, he, he has tools for the, the Chieftain cams and the, the Victory cams, and, and he's going to have some tools for the, the Challenger cam. And, and those tools are yet to be developed because we haven't done enough of them yet. So, uh, as soon as he comes across a problem, his brain's always thinking. Yep. Absolutely. So we're going to be developing cams uh, tools as well for for this job and and ways to to speed it up a little bit for two reasons. One reason is to try to reduce the cost of installing them because the motor does need to come out of the bike, actually, all the way all the way down to the table, I guess you might say, to be able to get the valve covers off and get into these cams. So it's, it's a big job. Uh, so we want to be able to speed that process up. Also, so we can get more in. And get more in. Because my waiting list is a lot longer than 20 people. <laughs> and, and hopefully lower the price of the install a little bit at some yeah. point. Because initially it's, it's going to be a little pricey because it is a it is a, it is a big process. Yeah. And one of the biggest things is the tune itself right. is the fact that we've been flashing them. But now we need to do a completely customizable tune on the dyno. Well, initially with, with these challengers, you know, because... Each bike is a little different, and you guys know that. You you, you remind us of that pretty regular <laughs> out there. So with these initial uh, challengers, we, we want to dyno tune all 20 of these first bikes. We want to look at those tunes and see if there's similarities, see if they're comparable, see if there is a way we can write a really strong tune that will allow us to uh, release that tune to other dealers out there and, and, and get those cams at some point in the hands of other dealers in, in your local markets versus having the, everybody in the whole world ha- always having to come to Charlotte. That's not our long-term goal, but it has to be our short-term goal. We've got to do research on it right, first. Right, right. Yeah. There's a lot that goes into it. So, yeah, we've got them in one bike, and we're, you know, uh, we're putting them in a second bike right now. Uh, and so, we we're, you know, so the tune for that bike, we'll compare that tune to the first bike, and you know, we, we want to give you guys the absolute best tune possible, which sort of rolls into maybe a little bit of our next conversation, and Absolutely. that is the evolution of the CRT tune. Yeah, which a lot of people, uh, they still question what that means, and it is Challenger Race Tune Version 1 right. is CRT V1. Now, one thing we're going to do, I, I think, in, in by naming it Version 1, I think we sort of I, I, we messed up a little bit on that. Because version one was never version one. It was really more like year one or evolution one. Because, you know, we brought that tune to you guys back in Daytona in, in, in March. And, and the tune's been a huge hit. Uh, but 
at the same time, we have learned so much, so much on that tune. I think people think that it's the same one, like it's a canned tune that's right. going on and on and on until right. the next upgrade, like and, and an and apple. A, right, and absolutely <laughs> it. And that's why version one was probably the wrong name for this because it, it was more of an evolution. We, I, I told Ryan this morning, I said we should have named it E1 for yeah. evolution one because it has been an evolution since day one of mm-hmm. the system. And very few, very few of those tunes are identical. They re- they're really not. Because he learns with every single flash. Yeah, every flash, because it was so advanced, and, we, and, 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 man, we were so excited to have it initially and bring it to you, and you guys were so excited to have it. And so, you know, we brought something to you that was an excellent tune, but was it perfect? Nah, nah, not at all, not at all. Yeah. And we've been able to perfect some on it. It's still not perfect, but we've still been able to perfect it over the last year. Uh, so, which leads me to, to a very important m- announcement that we do want to make. Couple, couple, yeah. Ago. So, so the first announcement that I want to make is all those guys that got that tune back in March, April, May. Those those first guys that jumped on board and took a chance on us and and let us put this tune in their bike. And and I know most of you, I, I, I've really not heard very few negative responses at mm-hmm. all. I mean, there was there was a, there was probably a, a small glitch or two every in there at some points but for the most part it was very very smooth and and we did we, we knocked it out of the park but uh can we can we improve on it or have we improved on it and, and the answer yeah. is yes absolutely so what we want to do with you guys is we want to offer you a free upgrade on your tune so anybody that that has the lloyd's tune that, that was a uh, bought it early on right. um April, yeah, March, May April, of May year. of last year, you know, ish. I mean, you know, if you've got one that you, <coughs> excuse me, that you feel like, you know, needs to be upgraded or, or you want, you want to, you know, don't hesitate to, to reach out to us. I mean, you know, we, we're here for you guys. I mean, yeah. we're here to bring you this tune and, 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 you know, that's all we do. I mean, we, we're Indian. We don't, we don't do 10 other brands or, or models. Mm-hmm. Or, I mean, and for that standpoint, you know, we, we're, here, we're a small company of dedicated to bringing the Indian rider and the Indian bike the best performance that we can do, and that's yeah. what that's what Lloyd does. I mean, Lloyd's always been that way. You know, he, he, you know, he, uh, he was always with Victory and with a small, you know, the small company. He never actually, you know, he, for years people would ask him why he doesn't jump into the Harley world. You know, as yeah. a billion Harleys to a few thousand Victories, but he always was dedicated to those. Uh, Victory riders, and he's the same way with Indian. I mean, he's very dedicated to the Victory and Indian rider, and Indian more than anything. And like you said, we're a small team. Yes. We're not a huge, huge company. Nope. We're a small team. Every one of us rides. Every one of us loves it. I know social media can be a little tough sometimes, but everybody who has, if you have an issue, just call us or email us. We Absolutely. may be a little busy, but yeah. we will get to you because that's the whole yeah. point of helping yeah. them out, you, fixing things. Yeah, I mean, if, you've, if you've got a tune that you don't think's working properly, uh, let us know. We're, we're the ones that need to know. Amanda needs to know. You yeah. know, and and uh, we'll, uh, you know, we we are here for you. I mean. I mean, we've read a few things on some social media lately, and, and we're like, I don't even think Ugh. that's true. I mean, it hurts. No. It hurts, you yeah. know, because we, uh, we we have tried really hard to bring you guys a good tune. Pricing-wise, I mean, that's another, you know, big subject that, that seems to be floating around is is how we price their tune. And, and we did. I mean, you know, we don't want to sound arrogant or like assholes or anything. You know, we, we priced the tune, we thought, very fairly at five ninety nine. You know, <laughs> most people think so. Most people would pay double that, they tell us, for that tune. Uh, and we had a lot of time involved. I mean, we spent over a year of paying a very smart dude a whole lot of money <laughs> to bring this tune to you guys out there. And, and look at the gains versus, like, stage two Indian camps. You're pretty comparable with oh. it with a lot better rideability with, with it. Way less, way less money spent. Yes. Absolutely, way less money Even spent. Even two grand yeah. is, you know. But we can't, you know, we can't ignore, you know, the uh, the elephant in the room, you know, with, uh, you know, with uh, Dynajet coming to market with the same type product uh, that we offered. You know, we're huge Dynajet fans. Don't take us the wrong way on Dynajet at all. We... Uh, we are probably, if not the, we're one of the largest consumers of Dynajet products in the industry. We have close to 70 remote tuning centers that yep. are Indian dealers, to which Thunderstroke and Scouts use Power Visions, right. <laughs> which we sell which, and buy. Right, and we tune. And we tune. So, you know, we, we tune probably 150 Dynajet Power Visions every month, which, yeah. is, which relates to thousands a year. 
So we need those guys for sure. We're not, we're, yeah. you know, and, and, and we feel like they probably need us. I mean, we sell a boatload of, mm-hmm. of you know, of, of their uh, product. We, I had really hoped, actually, it may, this may sound strange, but I really hoped that Dynajet would come to market with a uh, Power Vision for Challenger. That because, would make it a lot easier oh for God, us. You, don't, you have no idea how much easier that would be for us <laughs> if they did that. So, yeah. you know, coming with a, uh, a bench flash or, you know, like they did is, was, wasn't what we wanted to see for sure, you know, for several reasons. But, uh, but they, that's, what, that's what they decided to do, and that's where they put their focus on. But uh, that also brings up the fact of it's not just about us. And I know sometimes right. you want to pin it back and forth, but we work with close to 70 Indian dealers that we want you guys to go to. We sure. want you to support your local Indian dealer. Absolutely. You know, the Indian dealer, you know, there's always a lot of misconception out there, I think, of, of – who funds these things and yeah. those guys fund it. And, you know, when we go to the, the pricing of our product and you, they came in at a hundred dollars less than, you know, I, most people know that. And if you don't, hell, I'm telling you. <laughs> so, you know, they came in the market at about a hundred dollars less than ours. And, and I, I assume they did that because they, a little bit of an edge, a little bit of an edge. They felt, yeah. you know, they felt the need to market it at, that way to, uh, to gain your guys business away from us. And, and, you know, and so, we're reading a lot of that. And so I guess in enforcing, we hate to do this, and I hate to give them credit for this, but to force our hand to be competitive, we're going to price match their uh, tune this morning. So they're lowering so it to four ninety nine. I mean, if that's, you know, if that's, if that's what it's going to take, uh, you know, to uh, get you guys to continue to, for us to be on your shopping list, then, Absolutely. then we're here. So effective this morning, all Lord CR tunes and actually we're going to drop the v1 because it's not a version <laughs> one it's just yeah. a crt tune so the, the challenger race tune from lord's garage is officially 4.99 at this point yeah. now and there's an aspect about making a dollar we have to profit so we can research and give you more parts and more performance but there's absolutely i mean you know, we love this stuff every yeah. phone call we get so excited yeah. we about pro- it we would do it for free if we could but yeah. uh, you know we don't my house doesn't, Mm-mm. no, the, the power, Mm-mm. the lights don't get turned on if we do it for free. Mm, so. I like food. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we, we can't do that. But, uh, and, and the next thing that we see quite a bit, and I, I saw one yesterday, and, and it bothered me a little bit when I saw it. And, you know, and, and I know you guys, we see a lot of the comments about the, uh, I guess what we would call the labor of this. And, and the labor to do it, uh, it is separate. It's separate than the tune itself. Yeah. And it has to be that way. You know, we, we, we've, We've opened this up now for you guys. We've opened it up to dealers across the country. We added 13 dealers. We're getting ready to add another 10 or 12 dealers here in the next two weeks or three weeks, I think. Yeah. So we're going to have almost 25 locations across the country that you guys can go to to get this tuned so you don't have to take it out of your bike. You and don't that will have keep to, growing. It, it will keep growing, absolutely. You know, we hope that all 68 or 70 yeah. of our dealers over the next year become, you know, centers that ca- that but they have to purchase some equipment and that's the thing and that's that's what separates them it's not it's not necessarily a matter we just pick not like these a guys. sign up sheet it's yeah. not a sign up sheet it's it's it's, it's a ch- it, you have to sign something but it's a pretty good size check because there is some extremely expensive processors that you have to have to be able to put this flash and not that we just bought our team both ryan's also made a lot of this Absolutely. So that everyone could have it. Oh yeah, yeah. These guys have worked around the clock building harnesses that are specific to the Challenger that will plug into these processors that that we purchased to do this. So all these dealers have made a, a big investment, and so when a dealer wants to charge you, you know, an hour labor or a hundred bucks or a hundred and fifty bucks or something like that to to do this. He needs to because he needs to recoup a little bit of investment, and yeah. so. You know, when I see it on Facebook, when I see or social media in general, when I see you know a, a negative comment about one of the dealers that have that is wanting to charge you more than the four ninety nine or more than the five ninety nine to do this tune, it, it's really no different than if, if this guy bought a ten thousand dollar speed balancer tire machine and you wanted and you wanted it because that is the shit of tire <laughs> machines. Well, when you go in there, you know, yeah, he's going to you want to buy the tires from him, but need to pay to put it on that machine and that's sort of the same way here uh he's in these guys have made a huge investment in this in the product and in the processors and in the wiring and in the equipment and time and and training and and everything involved and they need they're going to need to charge you a little bit i mean i 
they, they are, and, and they need to stay open, and they got families to feed. And if you don't want to pay these guys, that's understandable. I mean, they, they, some of you don't. If you don't want to, don't do it. Then there's options. There's options. It's kind of like we talked about this before. You can buy an oil change kit and, and take you it can home and do, do it, it yourself. Right. Or you can have it done at the shop and you pay for that labor. Right. So if you want to order it and send your ECU into us, you don't have to pay yep. for that labor. Four ninety nine. You ship it to us. We'll do yeah. it for four ninety nine. But if you want to take advantage of having it done on the spot and not risking the the mail service, and uh, then mm-hmm. then uh, you can do that. But uh, and if you decide to do that, that's fine. But do us all a favor and, and, and don't go on social media and bash these guys for trying to trying to recoup a little bit and make a little bit make a little bit of money. That's that's sort of what we're here for. That's, They're there for that, you guys. That, that, yeah. And that's why you get up and go to work. You know, wherever you work, they you go they gotta earn money to pay you. So Yeah. We all gotta earn money to pay these guys and buy this new equipment and, and do this. So just keep that in mind. I mean, just just be easy on these guys and if you don't wanna use them, that's fine. Don't you don't have to, but let's let's not be mean to them, yeah. You know, for wanting to, you know, earn a dollar or two, and 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 to be be there to help you also. Absolutely. So all in all, the Flash has lowered its price to four nineteen. I mean four ninety nine. I apologize. Nope, nope. <laughs> I was going. Nobody I just got through. I know. My bad. No. Sorry, guys. It's a one day special. <laughs> no, it's four ninety nine. <laughs> we will have challenger camps very soon. Like I said, email me about the waiting list, and then I will call you next week, and mm-hmm. we'll start scheduling. We'll get ready for spring. We'll get ready for Sturgis. We'll get ready for Daytona. Yep, and that that is our plan. You know, our plan is to bring uh, the Challenger cams to places like Daytona. Again, with the time involved in putting them in, we will have a very limited number of spot Challenger spots in Daytona, but we are hoping to be able to schedule, you know, eight to ten Challenger cam jobs in Daytona. So, guys, if you want Daytona, you need to get a hold of Amanda ASAP and let her know that you would like to be on that list uh, for consideration if – you know, for that. Sturgis is the same way. Matter of fact, she, you told me yesterday we got two appointments for Sturgis yesterday. Yeah, I, I already think. booked so, them. So, yeah. uh, so we are starting to see that again. So, uh, you know, let's uh, you know, make those appointments if you're interested in Daytona, if you're inter- interested in Sturgis, uh, and if you're interested in Charlotte, she's going to be reaching out. If you're interested, again, in your local dealer doing it, it's just not going to happen immediately. We don't have prototype cams that we're willing to let your dealer install. We've had all kinds of crazy questions over the last few days. Uh, and so we'll explain those over the upcoming weeks sure, about reasons sure. why and yeah, everything. Yeah. And, and, again, the biggest reason is the tune. We, we, want, we have to get the right tunes in these bikes, and we, and we have to do a little extra testing on them and making sure. And if we can build the right library of tune, then, we're gonna, then we'll be able to share it with, with the – market so uh again we appreciate everybody hugely over the last year it's been a great year for us uh through the tunes through sturgis through the building the shop out there and and uh, man we're looking so forward to 2022 i don't know how we're going possibly going to make this year better than last year but uh, i know amanda's got a new newish looking motorcycle custom oh, bike yeah, yeah, that yeah. she's all excited oh about. Oh my so gosh, I rode it this pictures. morning in the rain and my back is soaked. You can't see it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty awesome. Yeah. So again, guys, appreciate everybody. We, we couldn't do it without you. And uh, One thing is we are in Music City Indian today and tomorrow. We're doing the Challenger Flashes there. Jeffrey is down there. He hates when I call him Jeffrey, but Jeffrey's there. Yeah. <laughs> and then December 3rd and 4th, we will be in Ocala, I think I said that right. Yep. Um, yep. Indian of Ocala. So if you want to get on that schedule, email me too. Uh, spots are filling up. I know I said all the time, but I've got a handful left for you. So Yeah, so if you're looking for that Lloyd's tune, give Amanda a shout. Yeah. The biggest thing, and I know it sounds super cheesy, is that we all love Indian, and we all love Indian riders, and we're not here just to you know rake you over for money. That's not it at all. We want to learn. We want to progress. We want to give you the best performance possible. So if you have questions, even if you're just curious about this video or any questions about the cams, shoot me an email. No big deal. I feel Molly Hatchet this morning. And, guys, thank you. And uh, let the party begin.